Well, as you can see behind us, the starting gate is empty because we are done with the motos. It's Ryan oh. Holiday of Team Green. Always working, man. Just Always scouting working. out, talent, scouting, scouting out. out everything. The racing is over. Still here. Still here, checking, checking it out. out the track. Our last moto, which is the 30 BC class, is out on the track right now, putting the finishing touches on this event. So they're just going to a little, probably fill in some of the caulking. Smooth it out there. Smooth it and, out. Uh, turn it over to the owner, and uh, everybody's happy. That's right, finishing touches. Uh, more champions crowned today. Adam Cincerillo ends up with two super mini championships. A battle that goes down to the wire between Kyle Peters oh. and uh, Justin Bogle had to be the moto of the week. Yeah, absolutely. Those guys were going for the championship. Lat Riders came into play. It was a winner take all affair. Enjoy the highlights. Outstanding. It was my favorite moto for several years here at the ranch. Great racing today as we wrap up championships. So, yeah, let's get to those highlights. Here's 450B Mod. This is uh, a one man gang. Justin Summers has two moto wins coming in, needs to win moto Ooh. three. Wow. Watch that break above there. Blake Savage yeah. just about goes over the bars. Check out the track here. We had uh, small spots of rain throughout this. Uh, by the way, this is the number 15. It's the rider who had finished fourth in the moto, Sam Landry. Basically, had a little bit of rain to deal with all day. Didn't ruin the track, but definitely made an impact. Yeah, it made things uh, a little trickier. Your riders had to kind of tiptoe through some of the shinier surfaces there. There's rider number 11 on his trusty Kawasaki. That is Connor Elliott. He's out of uh, Washington. Then we go up to Blake Savage. Elliott was in third. Savage here is in second. First time ever at Loretta's for Savage and was up in the top three in the majority of his motos. He's pretty happy with that. But even he, the macho man, Blake Savage, could not stop Justin Summers. What time is it? It's a dog day of summer. This is time. Summer's time. Summer's yeah. time. Dominating. He wins all three motos in this class. Suzuki's happy with that. Guess where he's from? Florida. Of course. Everybody of course. fast from Florida. So uh, Summer's going to go 1-1-1, one, 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 make the math easy on us. And he's one of the premier riders in the B class this year, taking this 450B Mod Championship. And nice style. Oh, the finish line as well. Arm pumping, gas pumping there. Savage and Elliott round out your top three in the moto and also overall. As the champagne flies, we'll show you the results of 450B B Mod. In the 85 911 modified class, two different stories to watch. First, Sean Cantrell has a pair of 1-1s heading into this moto. He's going to ride smart. And in front of him, one of the best races you'll see all day, Tanner Stack. Uh, taking on Michael Moseman, and they battled for every inch of this one. Yeah, today was the day for that, man. We had several motos just like that, and there was a random guy in the middle of the track in that last shot. Don't know how he got out there without the pass. Yeah, I'm very impressed. The 51 of uh, Sexton, Chase Sexton, is in third on the Yamaha. There's Cantrell on 37. He basically just needs a top five to win the title. So he was cruising, and that's going to allow Moseman on uh, the 42 and the 38 of Stack to battle it out with Sexton on the 51 and third. And Sexton liked that battle up front so much, he just stopped and decided to watch it. Man, I was right there with him, man, hanging out. So here's your battle. Moseman on the 42, the 38 to stack. They passed each other, I think, four times to the lead. Watch this, side by side. That's right, splitting the lap rider there. And this was down to the last darn lap with these two this close. Neither one is going to win the championship due to some bad luck earlier in the week. But Stack wanted to prove that he has more than just an awesome Channel 5 action news anchorman name. Tanner Stack! He wants to win a moto. There is uh, Cantrell who moved up to third once uh, Sexton was out. Tell us a little story there. What's that? You know, his dad and all. His oh, yeah, dad. he's a fireman. He works on bikes all day long at the firehouse. So taxpayer money, putting those bikes, getting them all shined up, got all the guys at the house doing it. Putting it to work. There's a championship for Cantrell who will take third. Stack ends up winning the moto battle over Moseman. There's her overall. This is it. The best moto of the week. I don't think anyone could really argue that. Title on the line between Kyle Peters on the 11 and the 91 of Justin Vogel. Whoever wins the moto is going to win the title. Out front, a spoiler, Gavin Faith. Yeah, Faith had the speed early on, left for about a lap. And then here you'll see Peters put that pass together. All right, so Peters is going to try to sprint while Vogel is in the number three spot. Vogel on the 91 has to work on Faith. And that allows Peters to get away just for a few seconds. Yeah, it took a couple laps for him to get around him, and now once he breaks free, he's got about four or five seconds to make up. Yeah, and that would be the battle everyone wanted to watch. Watch Bogle finally just work the outside line here on Faith. He's into the number two spot. So the question was, could Bogle make up ground on Peters? Could he get close enough to make the pass? You can't see the kind of gap he had to deal with here. It was about six seconds by the time he finally got through. Yeah, the rain had fallen just before this moto, so it was a little tricky out there. There's a look at number 44, Jacob Hayes, who slowly crept into picture. This guy is strong deep into the moto. 
Yeah, he gets around Jesse Nelson for fourth, and then we go after Faith here for third. No shot at catching the leaders because they were pushing each other for the championship in the line. But good job by Hayes to try to work his way up into third here on the Kawasaki. There you see the Ten Commandments trying to work over Faith, and Hayes would eventually get that position. Nelson, he would, I'm sure, have liked a uh, win here in this class, but again, those two leaders were pushing themselves. This might as well have been a battle for the number one spot right. where they were going. That's the number three spot there. And this race right here, it gets this good. It's this good the entire moto, this type. Yeah, Bogle would close the gap through lap traffic. Here we go. About a lap and a half to go. Bogle is right there just trying to find running room, trying to find a place to make the pass. Look how close this is. Look at that fence line. The crowd was into it. Everybody was into this race. The championship on the line, tied in points. Bogle is the big hitter coming in here, so Peters knows he's really going to make a name for himself if he can hang on. Look at Bogle try to work that inside as the white flag comes out. One more to go, and Bogle would really make a run at him again later in this lap. Oh, it's close right there. Yeah, a lot of different lines on this track at this point of the day, so Bogle had options, but he couldn't make any of them work. So here we go. Two turns to go in this one. Oh, again in the picture, both of them. Let's just let you watch and listen. Peters versus Bogle through the finish. Listen to this panel. <laughs> Frustration for Bogle, elation for Peters, who wins the moto, and with that, the championship in 250A. Bogle did get the 450A championship earlier in the week. That's your results. Racing doesn't get much better than that. Watch that gate, guys. Schoolboy 2 is for 254 strokes, as opposed to Schoolboy 1 for 125, two strokes. Jace Owen on the number 41 has 2-1 moto scores heading into this one. Gets the whole shot. Things are looking good, at least for a little while. Yeah, I thought he was just riding smart, kind of laying back. Turns out he had a flat tire, so he was riding really smart with a flat tire. Yeah, just trying to hang on. He got a flat tire on the second lap. That allows Justin Hill here on the 54 to take off, and then you'll see that bike kick around a little bit underneath uh, Owen. He's just trying to hang in there. Cooper Webb had a good ride going. But it's kind of a weird situation riding a 150 and a 250 different motos this week and then the 250 expires. Tough week for Webb for sure. There's Hector Rodriguez. He kept it close there for a while with Owen. Yeah, this is the battle right now for a second as Justin Hill tries to get away in the Kawasaki. And uh, Owen, he knows he just needs to be top five, but even with that back flat tire, that's not easy. Oh! There you go. Here's number 11 of uh, Bell, and he had his problems earlier in the week going DNF 13 in the first two motos. This is the reason why Owen had a little bit of uh, room to play with. There's Rodriguez. He went 7-2 and two going into this one. And uh, Justin Hill, he had his troubles also with 11th in the first two motos. He returns to win moto 3, but Jace Owen hangs on for 5th with the flat tire to take the championship via 2-1-5 scores. Okay, so we had the probably the hottest day ever here at... Still doing some scouting, Ryan. All right, still scouting. Yeah, the the racing is over, dude. Still looking for talent? I was going to practice some starts. Wow, that's Slave why he's a team driver. manager, Team Green Kawasaki. Never quits. Not sat still not satisfied. Uh, we had the, the, maybe the hottest weather ever, ever on Wednesday, but the nicest weather that we, I've ever experienced here since. Dude, it's chilly. Last half of the week has been overcast, maybe 81, 84. Beautiful. Remember, it was the 30th anniversary of Team Green here, as well as the 30th anniversary of the event. Probably the most successful uh, amateur racing team coming together as this event started. It's been 30 great years for them and the most this successful event. announcing team coming together with the, the greatest amateur team as well. We have been 30 years that 30 we years. have been working together as well. I'm was we're not even able to speak. I think I've been that young. On my first tour here announcing. I, I, I understand. My copper anniversary. Copper anniversary. Oh, yeah. Please Good send call. us some copper. Uh, <laughs> Big thanks to Red Bull as our new title sponsor. Big thanks to you for watching and everyone for hosting this show. Uh, big thanks to the MotorcycleSuperstore.com for handing out like 100 whole shot awards. And uh, thank no, you. Th no, th no thanks thank to you. you. Thanks for the bad breath all week, Jason. Okay, we got to get close to close and face to face in the there humidity. We didn't shower. We were partying late. That's why my voice is gone. That's it for the show. I've got nothing else to say. We'll see you next year. Cut.